have one more filter in natural filters. It's called the coastal version. So let's go create it and let's connect it to one okay so what coastal erosion does it is a device that provide a quick approximation of the effect of large body of the water uh, on the land so we have this effect of the when water hit the beach how it's creating and a little bit shallow so let's go open and our properties and we look so right here we have a simulation type currently it's set to the simple which is very fast and it is uh, could produce in the future add additional different type of simulations so for this version we have it use global water level you remember when we said before we can enable and it's take um, from the our settings right here on the water all over effect or if you don't have it we can use it our own water level so by increasing right here you can see we can affect our terrain by using the local elevation Next, we have it um, beach side. It's how wide a zone around the water should be converted into the beach. So, right here, you can see we can adjust and water level right here with a green. So, we can increase and it's going in both directions. So, it's take down higher and lower level elevation, elevation. So, and it's creating our beach. So, it's nice when you start creating island. And you know what? Let's do this way. So we'll go to um, generators. We'll read and we'll connect. Oops, actually I don't want to connect there. So I want to just connect to mask input. So right here we have an island, and we can open and work like almost on our island. So right here the water level we can bring in, increase the little bit of the beach size right here right here we have water level and beach size okay also we have next transition zone so this is will control how the beach leads into terrain this move that it says by default or cliff type so for example if you're going like on Oregon coast or other ones and mostly of them is very cliff type going to the water and on some areas if you go like some beaches areas you probably won't use it smoother type to this so we have it also transition power uh, low transition po power will flatten the beach less so you can see right here and higher transitions of course will um, very flat and kind of reduce the sharpness overall right here so we have it also other checkbox smooth underwater features and you can up see it's apply this blur type effect but again in some case you don't want like if we have it um, create those waves underwater and you want to have a very nice coral look you probably want disable smooth underwater features if you want to just move sand and other ones you want to enable as well when you enable right here you can see smooth amount can apply it. and again think about this as the you apply the blur effect just to this area which is located underwater by level okay, and when we create it we can create a little bit better actual island than this let's destroy this one we'll go to um, generators let's generate layout okay, let me find right here we'll go create island just maybe on the middle okay actually let me go on shape please okay we don't need this one shape oops so adjusting right here actually I don't need to create any shape at all just need to readjust this slightly. Maybe just right here. We'll go to break up so we can add 
just a little bit more roughness effect kind of more creating their own island okay I think that is good so we'll go right here okay we have our prone effect applied create smallness just small island Okay, and again right here we can preview just a little bit better I think with this effect so you can see we have our coastal All right let's open coastal erosion here we can increase or decrease the water level as well right here's our beach size so we can increase create cliff type you can see or smooth type applied so let's actually create a little bit more cliff in this case and again we can smooth out kind of underwater features okay, and right here so we're creating our little bit island very fast by using coastal erosion so you can see it's kind of fun way to create um, some other effects and again all these natural filters you can combine them together or mix and perform additional effects so like we have a coastal effect and next for example we want erosion effects and we can take this And apply it to this as well so you can see okay how well this one can work together okay so Again, remember when you applied all of this, we also have a water map, we have a beach map applied, and we have a floor map. So you can use all of these as specify additional materials for your other applications when you go and work with the creating materials over your terrain.